This kind of feels like overkill for a camera tripod. Maybe it's meant for something else. Oh! Uh-huh. That's more like it. In this video, we're looking at the new Radian Carbon Fiber Tripod by Vortex. Shooting off of a tripod has really taken hold in the shooting world and a large reason why we're seeing more and more firearms come with Swiss Arca rails or gun owners adding them to their existing firearms. A tripod provides a steady shooting platform whether you're out in the field or at the range. Hunters use tripods as it provides significantly more stability than shooting from a sling and it's really the next evolution of extended bipods or shooting sticks. And while this may not be an issue for East Coast hunters who'll generally not shoot past 100 yards, you need to have a solid shooting position for long range hunting out west. For gun owners in general, shooting off of a tripod in a standing position will be a lot less impact on the body than shooting prone or even sometimes behind the bench, especially if you're getting older or you have back issues. Finally, quite a few of the new dynamic shooting sports will have stages where shooting from a tripod will either be helpful or a stage requirement. So now that you're considering a tripod, let's take a look at the Vortex Radian Carbon Fiber Tripod and why it should be your next shooting or hunting accessory. While Vortex really blew up into a household name it is today based on their rifle scopes, the company also branched out into red dots, binoculars, and other accessories. In some cases, they develop products themselves, with others, they partner with the best of breed. Vortex has four different tripods, the entry-level Aluminum High Country, the up-level Summit and Ridgeview Carbon Fiber Tripods, and this, the Radian Carbon Fiber Tripod. This is the one that it's meant for shooting off of, and it is built as such. The Radian is predominantly made from carbon fiber, and each of the three legs is composed of four different sections, and you can see that one of them right now, I have it extended out. Now, each leg also has, let me move this back in, each leg also has three different positions here that you can adjust the angle that's fully upright. You have one in the middle, and you can have one this way. With the legs pulled in and all of the legs at this angle, you can get the bipod, sorry, tripod uh, down as low as 8.3 inches and at this angle with all of the legs, deploy all the leg sections extended, you can get this as high as five feet, seven inches tall. And as you saw in the intro, when I had to stand on the box in order to get up. Now, this versatility is going to let you use the tripod with both young children and gun owners who are seven feet tall. This height will also help you if you're trying to position the tripod in steeper terrain where you might be much higher up over the tripod and then you can adjust the legs as necessary. Now, when it comes to tripods, you have two different legs, two different types of leg extension locks. The first ones that you're gonna find, like such, for example, on my camera tripods, are these lever locks where you just pull them out, close and close it in. Now, the second one that you see and the one that you find on this tripod are going to be these collar locks, which you twist to extend and lock in place. There are pros and cons to each and it's largely a personal preference. However, I believe that on a shooting tripod, twisted collars make more sense. First, the levers would not catch on clothing or trees while you're shooting. Secondly, 
levers will require maintenance as they do tend to loosen up over time. On cheaper tripods, you might not even have an ability to adjust these. Uh, on more expensive ones, you might have a nut in place that you can tighten them up. Now, these twisting collars are more reliable and easier to work with if you need to. And while the twisting collars would not be as quick to deploy as levers, the collars on here are just much more appropriate for a shooting tripod, whether it's for gun games or hunting. The only thing that I would keep in mind would be that if you're setting up in the mud, sand, or gravel, extend the lower sections first as I have them, as you can see it here as this will prevent the collar from being close to the ground. This bottom section, if you're shooting in the mud, can possibly go in the mud and it's much closer to all the crap that can get inside the collar. With some of the cheaper tripods, the one thing that you would have to consider is that the lower sections might not be as thick or as strong as the top sections, but you definitely don't have that with this tripod here. A really nice thing about these collars is that they're quite big and will be easy on the hands and will be easy to lock and unlock with gloves on if you're hunting or shooting in the winter time. Now each leg is going to come with these rubber feet which you would use in flat surfaces such as concrete. However, the tripod does also come with solid stainless steel spiked feet which you would use if you're shooting out on grass, in the woods or anywhere where you need a bit more traction. Now each tripod also comes with a bubble level that you see on here on the base and there is an additional bubble level on the, tri the tripod head itself. The Radeon is available in two variants, one which uses a leveling head which you can see pictured up here or the one I have here which is going to be the ball head. The leveling head will be easier and quicker to adjust and lock in, however it will only give you about 15 degrees of adjustment. Furthermore, the leveling head has a maximum load of 44 pounds. If you're looking for maximum adjustability and the highest weight capacity, then this is the one that you want to go with, with the ball head. While I don't foresee using the maximum angles out on the east coast, I did take advantage and was glad to have the ball head while shooting off of this tripod at the Comp Expo event in Colorado, where we were shooting up from base level up into the mountains. On the ball head, you're going to have this large quick adjustment dial which will loosen and tighten the clamp to let you adjust the position. Independently, once you lock it in place, you have this dial which will let you pan all the way around in 360. And what you would then basically do is if you want to lock it in place, you can just dial it down. On this ball head, you can load up to 55 pounds, which will handle everything from heavier rifles to cameras with massive telephoto lenses. Now on the bottom of uh, both of the tripod heads, you have this hook here to which you would place your bag or additional weight, which will do both things, lower the center of gravity and reduce movement from the wind. If you're unsure of which head to go with, no fears as this tripod can easily be changed over. On the side here, you will find this lever and what it does, you flip it in, it will lock the head in and then on this side, you have a button, press the button in and you can swap out the head. Uh, Vortex states that they are going to sell these tripod heads separately if you want to have both. Both tripods are going to be cut for a Swiss Arca pattern and they are going to come with one Swiss Arca plate each. Each of the plates is going to be a standard quarter 20 screw pattern, which you can use for cameras, spotting scope, etc. Now, I definitely do recommend that you go buy additional Swiss Arca plates as it'll make it easier to on and off and switch things around. The Radian tripods weigh either 6.1 pounds with the leveling head or 7.3 pounds with this heavy duty ball head. This is actually quite light for such a massive tripod and will not be a burden on your loadout. The tripod is also going to come with a nice travel case and some Allen wrenches and tools to take things apart as necessary. The best part about buying a Vortex product, however, is the warranty. These tripods come with the Vortex lifetime warranty, which is a huge win for something that's likely to get quite a bit of use. The Radeon with the leveling head has an MSRP of $1099 and the one here with the ball head has an MSRP of $1199 and both are available today and have a street price of quite a bit below that.
Bottom line, while this is my first tripod dedicated to shooting, I'm certainly not new to tripods, and this is probably the sixth or seventh tripod in the current rotation. I have cheap tripods, high-end consumer travel tr tripods, I have entry-level professional tripods that I use in my home studio, and a myriad of upmarket Chinesium tripods that have been sent to me, both carbon fiber and aluminum. I know quite a few will be kind of scratching their heads at spending seven or $800 on a tripod. However, from what I can tell you, this tripod is well worth it. If you can justify $250 on an Atlas bipod or 400 bucks for an Accutech, then $800 for a three-legged shooting platform made from carbon fiber that stands as tall as I am is quite reasonable. And whether you're buying this tripod to shoot off of, to hold your spotting scope or your camera, this is a well-thought-through well thought tripod with impeccable fit and finish despite being Chinese-made. It absolutely surpassed my expectations and it feels as good as, if not better, than my professional Manfrotto studio gear. The biggest win here and why even professional photographers and content creators should look at this tripod in particular is the warranty. Even though this is a tripod, Vortex backs it with their lifetime warranty. Not one of my professional or high-end consumer grade tripods has such a warranty and where they typically range from as little as six months to as much as two years. With Vortex's lifetime warranty, this is now an asset in your gun safe instead of just being an expense. The only thing that I wish that Vortex included or had an option for is for a clamp head. Now, while this tripod is ready to go for any firearm with an arc rail, such as my precision six millimeter arc AR with the Catalyst Arm Swiss arc rail, there is no way to hold a traditional rifle, such as, let's say, for example, our 6.5 Grendel gun. So this is why I bought this head from Bog. So what you would do is, let's take out this gun. So what you would do is get this clamping head and this is the bog ultralight depth grip head it has a swiss arca adapter in the bottom well i'll turn it this way it has a swiss arca adapter in the bottom and tighten that in and now you have this clamping head into which you can place any firearm that you would want and then tighten it down There we go, and it works. Is it as stable as having direct Swiss Arca into here? No, but it is good enough, and you can find more info in the comments below. Overall, I am, overall, I'm quite pleased with the value of this tripod and what it brings and you'll definitely be seeing it on this channel in future videos to come. As always, I appreciate you watching, keep on squatting, and I'll see you in the next video linked up here.